Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for stopping by. So welcome to part three of the Japan haul. So this segment includes my makeup, my skincare that I picked up in Japan. I also added some things that I bought from Hong Kong as well, as a lot of the products I picked up are Japanese brands and also Korean brands. So they all mesh well together. But yeah, for all my galleys and my broskies that are into makeup and skincare, this video is for you. So I'll list all the shops that I went to and also the prices in like the screen or some in the video description box and also I'll link all my um, part one and part two of the Japan haul into the captions so if you want to check out my anime and manga merch that I picked up in part one go check it out there and also my part two of my Daiso haul check it out there or down below but yeah I'm really excited to show you guys what I picked up I actually picked up more stuff but since I've came back like two weeks now since from a holiday I already have given quite a lot out to my colleagues and friends and family so most of the stuff that I'm going to show you guys is for myself or for my mum or some of her friends that I'm going to see later on in the month I bought a lot of masks I bought a lot of emotions I bought a lot of glittery makeup as well which I'm so excited as I love glittery makeup if you don't know if you've seen on my channel like you always see I have glittery three eyes but yeah before i start showing you guys all the lovely makeup and skincare please give this video a like comment subscribe name the drill and click on the bell and feel free to use my affiliate links down below for blackwell's amazon bright stuff and also for moon planet and sci-fi if you're buying any manga and comics and you want to help support the channel on future giveaways feel free to use my affiliate links down below it really helps the channel a lot but um yeah let's get started hello so i just woke up from a 45 minute nap and once i turn my camera on basically my battery all died out and um, it looks like it rewrote all my memory for part three. So everything that I filmed for my makeup segment and my skincare has all just appeared and I'm not too sure what to do with myself right now. Oh my god, I literally just like think, oh, I just need to film the end of part three and then t like just basically finish off my video. But right now, it looks like I need to restart. I although I have a nap, I have not had lunch yet, so. I just spilled water myself. Let's see what I can recover and redo. So I'm gonna just organize myself quickly. And then we go back to the makeup and hair stuff and everything. So let's go. Oh my God, Tiff. <laughs> We're gonna do this in one take. Are we ready, dudettes and dudes? Cause me not ready, but hopefully because I just slept, I'm talking a bit slower because sometimes when I talk too much, I start talking too fast. So this is actually kind of perfect. Maybe redoing is a blessing in disguise. Maybe my first chunk of my part three was a shocker. That's why my camera decided to shut off and rewrite the memory. But this is my first time that it has happened with the rewriting memory and that stuff. So yeah, luckily I think part two and part one, everything is there, but it seems like part three, the whole chunk is gone. But anyway, so with all the makeup and skincare, oh, it's a bit dark, let me just, Make it a bit brighter, is that better? It's because it's gone dim now as I had a nap and it's later in the afternoon, but luckily we've got daylight. A lot of these makeup products are things that I will be using on a daily basis and that stuff. So with makeup with and skincare, I used to, when I go to Asia, I used to buy a butt ton, but I ended up not using them and they just expire and that's a sad thing. So I only bought things that I typically will know that I will use. So a lot of them are like glitter eyeshadows, eyeshadows, eyeliner, um, some mascara, which I will tell you more about the mascara business later because I only use one mascara now as I've tried many mascaras throughout my years of youth and that I've tried high-end low-end like cheap ones and like really expensive ones and they've never worked for me uh, except for one mascara where did I put it one of the mascaras I only use on my eyes because I have monolids if can't tell I don't I don't have a crease I use the MAC extended play Gale black lash so this is waterproof and it is really good it actually keeps my curls and also like it's lengthening and it separates my lashes it doesn't clump together it's a really nice eye mascara if you're looking for a new mascara this is actually really good to use this is the only mascara i've used like i said many high-end many low-end mascaras and they just never work but this has always been the best i've been using this mascara though for more than 10 years now 
and it has been the best. It has never let me down. Anyway, on to the makeup. So there's a few places I went to. So in Hong Kong, I went to a place called Sasa. In Japan, I went to this place called Matsumoto Kyoshi. So I know if you go on like TikTok or YouTube, there's probably other shops that you can buy your makeup for a better price. I did buy some makeup from Don Quixote as well, but um, I, I noticed Don Quixote was a bit more expensive than Matsumoto Kyoshi. So I think there's an even cheaper place, but you have to go on TikTok and see. But I can say like if you ever go to Japan and you're not looking for shops like that, but Matsumoto Kyoshi and also um, Don Quixote, they're the more easily accessible ones, in my opinion. Like the other ones I did see on TikTok, I'd have forgot the names, um, what they were. I saw they had cheaper price, but you know, they weren't in areas that I was in because when I was in Japan, I was mostly in Ginza, Shibuya, and I didn't even go to Shinjuku, I didn't even go to Ueno this time, I didn't go to a lot of places so hopefully next year when I go to Japan I'll explore more of the places. First few things I picked up from um, Japan from um, Matsumoto Kiyoshi are these liquid glitter, that's what it's called. So if I just try focusing on them. So I bought two of the same colours which is number one Stardust and the pink one is called um, Rose Star, if you can see, if it focuses. So this, I believe, uh, yeah, it's by Roman D. So this is actually a Korean brand because I bought it in Japan. It's all in Japanese, but yeah, liquid glitter is definitely my go-to. Um, I also showed you guys where it is. Yes, I also bought some makeup products as well that I've been using. So the glitter I have right here probably has expired now as I had a nap. I don't even know if my makeup looks good or not. Um, but I used this one on my eyes. Um, I can I think this one's already rubbed off, but you can see it's still still here. And this one is shade three two one, and it's by the brand Asta. Don't know if you can see, but I also bought the gold version as well. I have yet to use the gold version, but these have been uh, working really well so far that I've used. The segment of this haul as well, I forgot to say, is that I'm going to do the makeup first, then I'm going to go into hair care and like skincare then i'll go to the masks then i'm going to the all the miscellaneous other stuff that comes into the beauty category roman d is one of the known brands that has been popping off lately so i picked up a lot of roman d uh, products and also i picked up a lot of can make so the next product i picked up is this it looks like a jelly eyeshadow it's very glittery and it's in the shade six so there's two glitter eyeshadows so like i said i've been very into glittery eyes i think it really complements my eyes right now i don't have any glitter on my eyes actually other than on the little like corner here next i bought a lot of eyeliner one thing um, that I use on a daily basis. I even have the eyeliner on right now. And this is the Hair & Mink um, eyeliner in brown. I tend to use brown eyeliner now because it just complements my eyes. I used to use black eyeliner, but I feel like it looks harsh. Like I really like the soft eyes look. So this has been the eyeliner I've been using for the past few years. And then also I picked up quite a few of this actually. This is a eyelash serum. So I do believe I mentioned in my Daiso haul that I picked up some eyelash conditioner from there as well, which is like really cheap. But I expect this one to be a bit more expensive. I think this was like probably eight pounds. It's still by the same brand as Hair and Make, it looks like. But basically I lost all my eyelashes during the year 2021 to 2022. So last year, like the whole year of it, I had no eyelashes on my left eye. I don't know if anyone noticed, but I did mention it in my, my Gaku vlogs, but I don't know if I even posted those clips yet. Basically, um, because I had insomnia for a whole year, like your gal did not sleep. Yeah, it was it was really bad. Um, one of the side effects that I had was I lost all my eyelashes on my left eye. Like I did lose a bit on my right eye, but this one was completely bold, which was very weird. Like I never had that. Like normally you can't really see my eyelashes much anyway, but when it's bold, you can see it very like different, especially when this eye, you can see a bit of eyelashes. Anyway, next I got from Don Quixote. This is a Juicy Pan UV stick. I forgot what brand this was. I remember this was like a popular Korean brand. It doesn't say, I don't think on here, but this is SPF plus PA plus 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 plus. Um, one thing I want to mention is if you ever plan to go Asia on holiday, the sun is very hot. Like over there, it's not just the sun, the UV rays is stronger than the UK in my opinion. Like the UK, like we do have good weather here and there, but like summer right now, I'm wearing like a little jacket. Over there, I can't do that. It's, it's too hot. You'd be swelting. So this is a sun stick. It 
it looks like a jelly stick. It smells like jelly, but it basically when you want to top up your UV protection, you just put it on. You can't you can't even see it. It feels like you got something, but not really that much on there. So that's just um convenient. So when I was in Asia, I always topped up on my sunscreen. Next on to the glittery eyes. I'm super excited. Jesus, this is a glitter eyeshadow. And let me show you guys. So this is what it looks like. This is from the brand Romandy. And this is the palette Light and Glitter Garden. So 00. And it's just gorgeous. So every single colour you see here, they're all glitter. So um, yeah, I don't have anything like this. Like normally I will buy loads of eyeshadow palettes. But nowadays I just wear one colour from a palette. So I don't really buy too much nowadays because it's just a, there's no point as I don't want to waste makeup as makeup at the end day expires and this is just perfect for me because I'm, like I said I've been very into glittery eyes just works out and like I'm so excited especially with the colours there like those are all colours that I will use which I'm really excited also comes with like a little sponge doe for applicator I did have more lip products and other makeup pieces but I did give some to my mum already and some friends so this is what I have left this brand looks like it's from Deceek you can see so it's a very nice lipstick it's in the colour um cream sand i'm not gonna swatch any of these but just trust me if you're my skin tone i recommend picking these colors up i can't really give you the shade as everything is in japanese so it will not be the same as in korean or english i bought these lip tints from etty taos um this is more like a soft lip type of look i did uh swatch these whilst i was in store and they looked really nice and like for me like because i've been wearing makeup for so many years i know what complements my skin tone and that so i tend to suit more like peachy stuff or like a more like a brown tone or like more like a deeper color rather than bright pink bright red 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 does not suit me even this looks a little red this is for something that i put like in the inner lips and then like spread out so this is a juicy lasting tint and it's in the shade six fig fig very interesting name but um so it looks like and then i bought this lip gloss in the shade salty peach which is by roman z as well and then the lipstick like i mentioned next i picked up from can make so these ones i actually picked up in hong kong so i picked up all of these are in shade one um i feel like i should have got shade two but whilst i was swatching in the shop like shade two looked a bit too like too dark so i feel like a shade one will look better like it's a nice beige color so i picked up a pen like a pencil type of concealer which i've never tried or used before but i felt like this will be good for like defining some like my brows or some areas that i want to fix up this is just a normal cream concealer liquid concealer so this liquid concealer is more like for my under eyes that i'm planning to use and then this one is a palette concealer so this will be great for um just covering imperfections and all that so yeah this is what i picked up i'm really excited i love concealers like even now what i have on my face currently i don't have any foundation all i have is concealer and powder so like concealer i just put it under my eyes my t-zone and my chin and that basically like covers my face in general because i feel like with foundation sometimes it can get a bit too heavy and also like just cover it gives me too much of a blank canvas and i like my skin to show especially in summer i have lot, like a lot of freckles but right now i don't know what my face is showing because i had a nap next thing i picked up is mascara so i bought two mascaras from hair and make i'm not too sure what the difference is because the packaging looks very very similar i think it's just the difference is the wand so one's more curved and one's more straight so i assume one's for lengthening and one's for uh volumizing but they're both waterproof mascaras but like i said i'm just gonna give this a go because um i've heard so many good things about it and like everyone loves it so much so i want to try it and see if it's good because this will be a nice alternative to have other than my mac uh, mascara so yeah i'm excited to give these a go and see how they are but um yeah i'll update you guys in one of my like day in my life yeah i'm really excited to give this a try and this is waterproof so it will be good for my mom lids any galleys out there that have mullins 
colours as well. Like waterproof mascara is the way to go, you know. Avoid the smudging. But some of the mascaras out there, even though they claim to be waterproof, like they smudge a lot. I think maybe it may need to be oil proof as well. I'm not sure. With um, nail polishes, so I've been very into doing my nails lately, as just doing your nails in the UK is just so expensive. And sometimes they just they just botch your nails. I'm not I'm not sure. But anyway, I picked up some nail varnish from can make so from left to right n52 this one's shade n24 n25 and yeah i'm very into glittery nails as well as glittery eyeshadows so let me just switch them over so you can see the back of the so this is what it looks like hopefully it's in focus for you guys i also picked up some powders so these two powders are both from can make so with powders i've literally hit pan with all my powders so i need new ones and i just want to oh oh i hope i didn't break it oh saved saved so yeah uh, I'm, i picked up um two powders so these are this one is in shade one this one I'm not sure what the shade is, but I'm pretty sure it's not shade one as this is what the color looks like. And basically my favorite powder is from Charlotte Tilbury, but that powder is just too expensive. Do I have it right here to show you guys? No. So this one is um, the Silky Loose moist powder oh it's moist as well interesting so i like a powder that basically sets my face and like gives me like a bit of mattification but sometimes i don't like to be too a dewy like dewy look is not for me too i used to be a matte girl but too matte is not for i just like to see my skin like i like a natural look now so this is um the powders that i picked up and then this one i picked up in hong kong i'm not too sure what it is but i know in in the ingredients it says it's got talc so i don't know if you can no, it's focusing i think this powder is good for like if you have a sweaty face I, I don't know i might be wrong picked up another nail polish this is from sasa as well and it's like this silver glitter and it's from cyber colors and then also i picked up more of the eyeliner but i'm pretty sure i picked up more products but i just can't see them right now which i'm a bit sad because i did show you guys a bit more when i first filmed this on the first round but anyway hey so i only have one battery left but i saw some stuff whilst i was packing away that i forgot to show you guys and that is a roman d bronzing powder so this is a bronzing powder that i'm planning to use for like shading as when it comes to bronzers i actually tend to like to use orange tone bronzers as i feel like that gives me a more of a color for my face as in this when it's something like a more cooler tone and a bit more ashy it can sometimes make me look gray but normally i use it for like shadowing and i haven't done like contouring in a very long time so yeah the next thing i bought this is the only cushion pack that i picked up and this is the kill cover cushion by cleo and um this is in a color ginger number four normally like korean makeup they tend to go to go lighter in color but this seems like my skin color but unfortunately i haven't used it yet so i can't update you guys but i'll update you guys another time in like a week in my life or day in my life when i do get to try this but yeah i'm very excited to use this as like i said i've been using concealers a lot so this will be a nice break from using concealers and just give this a try i have used many cushions in my lifetime but um a lot of them just didn't work out unfortunately like they just weren't the right skin tone or the texture or it just wasn't something that i like to use i tend to like to use concealer now as like it just shows off my natural skin but also covers enough of my dark circles and that but yeah that is the clear kill cover i know this one's quite um heavy duty in a way so I'll see how this goes. I picked up a lot of eyebrow pencils and this is actually from Daiso surprisingly. So I should have included this in my Daiso haul, but I'm just gonna include it with my makeup and skincare. And this is the eyebrow pencil in shade five. So this, I bought loads of it because this I can tell you right now, this is my go-to eyebrow pencil. So I think I bought like 10 of these eyebrow pencils as when you retract it, it doesn't come out a lot, but these are basically a pound each. I've used eyebrow pencils when I was younger and I stopped using them and now I only use um, brow powder, which I've always used for many years now. This eyebrow pencil is very like thin and slim, like how it says in the packaging. So 
I basically use this like when I go into office and basically with my eyebrows you can see they're quite thick already like all I do is just basically shape it and put my arch in and it just looks really good it's really good in like shaping up my eyebrows rather than filling it in on top I bought loads of gel nails and I don't know if I mentioned in my um, Daiso haul I think because it's so cheap it's not very great quality like once I apply this on I think by night time when my mum had a shower basically these nails peeled off like you can literally just peel off the nail varnish so um I, I won't recommend this but um it i think is a good starter if you want to give it a go but definitely i think it's best to invest in proper gel um polishes but i picked quite a lot from daiso it's because i really want to start up my nail journey as i spent just so much at the um, nail salon and this is just cheaper to do by myself so i bought loads of different colors but i noticed with the colors that they do in daiso a lot of them are quite muted so they're not very bright so on to another fun segment part of this haul will be my hair care and the skin care section so this lovely bag has so many things that i'm so excited to use so i'm going to show you guys what i picked up so I picked up quite a few, um, oh I picked up another eyelash serum, it's like, or eyelash conditioner, would you call it? So yeah, I'll definitely update you guys how my eyelashes get along with this. I've been using the Daiso one lately and it's been pretty good, it's basically like a oil, it doesn't feel like I put anything on to be honest. And then also because I bought the waterproof mascara, this is a waterproof mascara remover by the same brand. So normally i feel like these products are a bit of a gimmick as normally i just use makeup oil and it will come off already so i'll have to see if this works or it helps at all but yeah if it doesn't then next time i'll just keep on using my makeup oil but i just want to give this one a try next is this hair stick so i already used this earlier on before i had a nap i don't know if there's any flyaways right now but basically i think i think it matted it down so my hair maybe look a little bit oily right now but basically this is to like stick down any flyaways you have and um you know like in japan everyone just looks so well dressed like so well dressed the hair's all nice they all smell nice and i think it's all down to them really investing into their hair care routine because the hair like even like i put this oil on earlier it makes your hair smell so nice so yeah so this hair stick i think one is like a stronghold and one's normal and i've already opened this one so yeah i was gonna give these away but they already gone a bit botched from like bringing it back to uk but um yeah, I might just keep these myself since I do have a lot of flyaways all the time since I bleach my hair so much. Like, all this is all bleached hair. So, um, yeah, I think yeah, I'll, I'll make use of those for sure. Next two products, um, I think I should have basically picked up this instead. I, I picked this up thinking, like, I just didn't know which one was the viral product. And this should be the one because it has number one on it. I should have read it like that. This one specifically is a vitamin c essence and then this one is a brightening cream so i'm gonna pair these up for any dark spots so this will become in useful for my like when i get some spots and then it just gets darker so it just lightens it up so i think this will be good for myself and my mum and also my boyfriend so this is what i picked up so one's a cream version and one's an essence so yeah this has been highly raved on like online on tiktok um even in stores as well they really advertise this a lot next is i picked this up in japan as well and this is the one that i demonstrated basically it is an oil so just do that if you can see do if you can see it's a very nice oil it's like a little goes a long way you don't need it i already put this on earlier when i was demonstrating this but yeah smells really nice i smell like a hair salon right now i really really recommend next two i picked up in hong kong instead of japan i know if i picked this up in japan it would have been cheaper but in hong kong it was having a discount for five pound fifty each so i picked it up in hong kong as just in case i didn't have enough luggage allowance flying from tokyo back to hong kong i thought let me just pick it up in hong kong and yeah just save, saves me the hassle but in the end when i was in tokyo we still had like 12 kg left of luggage allowance because we bought extra luggage allowance but the luggage that we bought to japan wasn't big so we couldn't fit everything in we couldn't buy anything more because we spent all our money as well so even the air hostess laughed at us thinking like you know you have like 12 kg left like do you want to put anything more i'm like 
there's nothing else to put in more so yeah um anyway so i picked up this hair mask um i believe this looks like it is a set so i'm not sure if it's a mask or if it's a hair oil but just more congealed i have to I have to give this a look online this one i picked up in hong kong in don quixote oh actually it's not called don quixote in hong kong it's called donkey donkey so um it's basically the same brand just different name i heard many good things about this brand of their moisturizer and yeah i was basically i picked this up on the last day of my trip and i thought i picked up the moisturizer but nope i picked up this face wash which i'm a bit sad like as I do have a lot of face wash already, so I don't know if I would make this in good use. As I said, with this haul, like, I tend to buy everything that I will use. And right now, what I need is moisturiser, serums, and that stuff. But face wash, um, yeah, I will, I will get to a point of using this, but it's just, yeah, not, not right now. On to the emulsions or serums and lotions that I picked up. So let's start off with the Hada Label range. So this... I picked up in Hong Kong as I couldn't find these for some reason whilst I was in Japan like maybe I was blind or something but I went to a few shops and I couldn't find the areas but to be honest when I was buying all my makeup and skincare I was in a rush as since I had my boyfriend with me he wasn't willing to spend hours with me you know in the shop to buy stuff so I just quickly picked things up that I knew I was gonna get but um yeah I couldn't find these so I picked these ones in Hong Kong so I believe this is the more moisturizing one and this one is just like the normal one and I, these I think are serums or lotions. I can't read Chinese, so I can't really say what they are, but I've always seen this ever since like, I've been into makeup and beauty for years now. Like this has always been a highly rated product. Next I picked up from the premium line. So this one I picked up quite a few. I picked up, I picked up the lotion and I picked up the milk. So the milk one is the more moisturizing one. So this is what it looks like. This I'm planning to use more in the winter time. And then this is the lotion. So in Japan, a lot of the time they sell more lotions, which is more serum like texture than moisturizers. And I also bought a refill pack. Yeah, this is something that I'm looking forward to use with my mum. And um, yeah, I heard many good things about it. So yeah, hopefully it's good. So the next two products I'm gonna show you guys are some hair care products. So this is by the uh, brand Anne Honey. So this I believe were quite cheap. I think these were like, if I were to convert it into UK price, I think they were only like three or four pounds. So very, very affordable as normally when you buy hair oil in um, the UK, they cost around 10, 15 pounds. So very expensive. Even like the L'Oreal Elviv or Elvive um, hair oil costs like I think 11 pounds. So yeah, this is really nice. So one is more moisturizing and one's this. Um, I have to give it a go to let you guys know how this goes, but the packaging is so, so pretty. Like, like, isn't that so pretty? Like, oh, I love the packaging over there. And then next thing I bought is this really popular hair cream, which smells like peach. So this is something that, I, out of all the stuff I got, I don't think this is like the wow is product, but um, yes, it's, it's, it just smells like peach. It smells like a peach hand cream that I have actually. Let me just put it in my hair. Okay, once you put it in hair, it's actually, the fragrance is even stronger. Okay, that smells pretty nice actually. And last from that bag is this eye cream. So it says three in one at the back. So I have to give this a try. I have used uh, products from this brand before, Sana before, but um, I haven't used this eye cream, but this has recently been popping off online. So I'm gonna give this one a try and see how well it works so that is for that bag so next off i picked up quite a few masks so i actually bought way more masks than this but i have given some masks to like my colleagues my friends and some family already so these are the ones that i have left over for myself and my mum so first off that i picked up is this mask i actually used to use this i used to use this like on a daily whilst i was on holiday as it comes with 30 sheets and i normally just put this in the fridge and just grab a sheet every morning so it basically was my moisturizer and um i'll or i'll use this every other day so yeah this is um what brand is it is by cause and then it's a cinnamon roll on the packaging. So that's why I picked that up. Actually, I got this from Don Quixote and I just saw it and I was like, okay, I just need to pick it up because it's cute. But um, yeah, I, I assume this is quite cheap as well. A lot of face masks by Lululun. And I believe this is like 
quite an affordable brand in Japan. Like these were quite affordable. affordable. I think one of them I picked up in Hong Kong whilst I was doing, uh, yeah. This one I picked up in Donkey Donkey in Hong Kong. And um, it even has the expiry date. So make sure you guys check the expiry dates of your skincare makeup before you buy them because you don't want it to be out of date. Make sure to not use your makeup for too long as well because for sure I am guilty when it comes to eyeshadow. Like the eyeshadow palette that I use right now, I've had it more than 10 years and I'm still using it. I haven't had an eye reaction or anything so I'm still using it but when it comes to like lip and face I'm a bit more like yeah conscious of like the expiry date so I don't buy too much lip and face stuff. But when it comes to eye stuff, like, yeah, I can for ages. <laughs> but yeah, so these are the face masks that I picked up. So some are over 45 that I picked up for my mum. This is the Precious Line, Moist. And then this Hokkaido. Face mask, sleep eight hours and eight minutes. Like, that is so selling to me. Like, so any time that I have hardly any sleep, and my face is dry and puffy, like, this will be a great one to use. And what I love about these face masks now is that they just all come in this one bag and you just take out the sheet rather than having individual sheet like in different packaging. Like I used to like them when you go traveling, but if you're just keeping the mask at home, it's actually quite nice to have it all together and just shove it in the fridge. And then next I got these big, big bags from Don Quixote. It looks like it's the same brand as the vitamin C essence. So I just got these two bags. I think they have about, yeah, this one has 28 sheets. This one has 30 sheets inside. And one is a, this is a brightening mask and this one's a premium brightening mask. So this will be very nice to use, especially after a sunny day, like how this picture looks like, like just relaxing, that being very nice. This one looks very premium and this is another face mask. I'm not too sure. This is for moist, moisturized and radiant skin, contains support ingredients that condition the skin environment. Very nice. So this comes with 30 sheets as well. So yeah, definitely have a lot of masks that will last me for another year until my next trip. So this will be very nice. One thing about makeup and skincare that I noticed, like like I said, like when I was younger, when I used to go to Asia, I tend to buy loads of stuff. But as I got older, I only buy things that I need because like I said it expires and one thing I used to do is like I always save things for another day or like save it for a special time and by the time you go back through your drawer and that stuff like a lot of things are already out of date or like they just the textures already changed so definitely recommend don't buy too much but buy enough that you know you're gonna like treat yourself like one thing that I tend to do on this channel with my manga collection i buy things for the investment for my happiness like i like to buy things to enjoy and i make sure that i enjoy it like there was a point in spending money and you're not enjoying it that's just my opinion but anyway you can do whatever you want with your money you're talking about masks as well i did buy some foot masks i should have used these whilst i was away in japan and hong kong as like every day we're walking about like twenty thousand steps to thirty thousand steps so yeah my foot was bad as i have bent feet on top i have flat feet as well some x-shaped legs and all that type of stuff that contributes to me walking funny and me getting a lot of pain on my feet and on top i had blisters everywhere on my feet whilst i was in asia so yeah th things were just bad for my feet and i bought loads of foot masks that i didn't even use but i'm going to show you which ones i picked up so a lot of them i took it out of the packaging as the packaging was just too bulky to pack so these ones they smell like lavender and i think you just basically put it at the bottom of your feet for like a relax sensation type of feeling but this is what it looks like and then i bought these one which you can see what the outside pack so the outside packaging actually looks like the same as this picture and you can this one looks like you can put it at the back of your leg as well as your foot so yeah i'm definitely going to give these ones a try i picked up some foot peening mask so hopefully that will save my feet and it'll go back to the baby smooth feet to be honest i don't remember the last time i had like soft baby feet i think the last time i probably had soft baby feet was probably when i was like 12 which is ages ago which is like years so um yeah i, I don't remember having soft feet at all i've always had hard feet so um, I'm looking forward to using this foot mask. Hopefully it will sort some of my feet out, fingers crossed, um, and also help with the hard skin that from my blisters that's developed recently. So we'll see how this one goes. Like I want to use it, but at the same time, I'm going into office very soon this week. So I think this will be best 
if I'm like staying at home, not going anywhere and just wait for my skin to heal because one thing I worry about feet peeling is like, when's the skin gonna grow back quickly? Like, I don't know about the process of it, but yeah, I bought some feet peeling masks, which I'm really excited to use. In the end, I may show you guys some snacks that I picked up in Japan, but I did give away a lot and a lot of the Japan snacks as well, they had like a very quick expiry date as a lot of things were fresh. So we already ate all of that. This bag basically consists of eye drops, a lot of sun cream and some miscellaneous stuff that basically I need. First off with um, the sun creams that I picked up, this is actually a spray and it's the Aqua Rich um, Aqua Protect Mist SPF 50. PA++++ so a lot of things in Asia a lot of their SPF starts from 50 range as in the UK it starts from like 15 which to me is a bit low like like I think 50 is the best this is the tone up UV essence and I've just seen all these in Don Quixote there and I just picked this up and I was planning to give a lot of these out to my friends and family so that's why I picked up a few so this one is lavender and this one is happiness aura and then next sunscreen that i picked up this is like an aerosol can you can hear the i actually don't really like that noise this is a uv protect spray sun waterproof spf plus pa plus 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 this is by cause actually so that's what it looks like definitely excited to give this one a try so like whilst i was in asia i tend to put moist not moisturizer sun cream all over my body first in the morning and then also on my face i'll put a separate like face sunscreen and then throughout the day i will top up with like a spray sunscreen like something like this to just keep my face protected as like the spray ones are easier because you can put on top of your makeup but um next things i got oh i got some freebies from um matsumoto kiyoshi and these are this sunscreen i know this brand is very big and popular in japan as well but i didn't buy any from this one so I bought a lot of these platters as well. These platters were my lifesavers whilst I was in Asia as I had lots of blisters and also just, these were just nice thick. Ooh, I just realized midway filming this is that I forgot to mention all the parts of my Japan haul that you can get tax free in a lot of the shops in Japan. So basically all these bags are my tax free bags from Japan and basically if you buy any makeup or skincare they normally come in these bags when you buy it for tax free so all you need to do is show your passport and if you see like a tax free like symbol outside a shop basically you need to go to that type of counter in the shop and show your passport and you can get tax free however the things that go into these like type of clear red bags you cannot open until you depart japan and go back to your own home country if you open it in japan most likely if you get found out by customs you get a fine and i think the fine is like I know it's a couple of hundred pounds or maybe two grand. It's, it's around that range. It's a couple hundred pounds or two thousand pounds from what I remember. So yeah, it even says in a bag like to not open it until you go back to your home destination. So um yeah, you can see this bag is from Don Quixote because this is the this is the brand ambassador, shall I say? I don't know what is he. Is he a penguin? But um yeah, so that's one thing that I want to mention. So um, a few things that I did get for tax free would be some of my makeup and skincare that I got from Japan and then also Uniqlo when we shopped in Uniqlo we got tax free and also um, well actually for the anime and manga stuff all of that was not tax free unfortunately as a lot of the places don't um, take tax free like a lot of the shops in Akihabara didn't do tax free and then also Animate didn't do tax free unfortunately basically majority of the manga and anime stuff that I got I didn't get tax free but with all the makeup and skincare that I got in Japan that I kept in these bags are all tax free and anything that you do want to use whilst you're on holiday in Japan like makeup and that stuff you just have to pay the tax anyway back to where i was so i bought more um sun cream so this is another happiness aura one and then i picked up a lot of eye drops i picked up eye drops that i normally use from japan now i work a lot and i'm always in front of screens i picked up these eye drops these eye drops are really good as well like i remember i had a friend that had really bad hay fever and he went to loads of gps in the uk and they always give him like some medication to help his eyes but his eyes were just like they were they looked literally they were leaking and once i gave them these eye drops his eyes literally healed i'm not even over exaggerating but anyway these are the eye drops that i like to use this is the lychee one and this is for i think good for using in front of pcs i don't know i'm gonna give some of these to my brothers as well because he's a gamer so 
yeah eye drops definitely if you ever go to japan this is the one main thing that everyone gets i don't know what these are these are basically we've always used these at home basically this is actually for my oldest brother and it's basically for him for his aches and pains and um yeah i, I, I don't know what else it really does other than aches and pains but we always use this so i, I just picked up two bottles of this for him oh this is actually makeup so this is actually a makeup product that i picked up whilst i was in hong kong this is actually from color mix this is a gleaming eye glitter in sand it's from ibim never heard of this brand but it's such a chunky oh it looks very congealed but basically looks like it's been in the packaging for a very long time yeah, I don't, oh, I don't like the look of that. That looks really dry. Interesting. But anyway, this is um, a really, really pretty liquid eyeshadow. Pretty sure you can get something like this in the UK, like in Kiko or something. But I bought this in Hong Kong. This was quite pricey, actually. I picked this up for like £11, which, yeah, I shouldn't have done it. But I did anyway because I love glitter. But um, yeah, this is what I picked up. So like I mentioned to you guys earlier, I did suffer from long-term insomnia for a whole year, for a very long time actually. And sometimes I do get it here and there, but I don't. I only get it when I'm really stressed. But um, yeah, I suffered from it and these were my life saviors. This is basically heated iPads and you put it on your eyes and they heat up and they heat up for like about 20 minutes and it just really like comforts your eyes. With these, these are so good. Like in general, my eyes are very sensitive when it comes to like hay fever, I used to get really bad. I used to rub my eyes a lot. I used to make really like weird wet noises, which is very disturbing for a lot of people. But yeah, I used to rub my eye, like I felt like I was yanking my eyes out. And um, yeah, it's just I had a lot of eye issues, which is, crazy but anyway these have been such a savior um they come in like packs of like five or twelve but um i think i bought a lot of packs of twelve and yeah that's why i have loads of these but um yeah they have been so relaxing like if you have hay fever insomnia or just like sore eyes from looking at the screen too much these are so good other stuff that i picked up would be some snacks um which are basically nearly finished i bought some of these jellies which are very yummy and I bought some Kit Kats and that. But yeah, I'm not really showing you guys a lot here. But I bought some other sweets for Caitlin. I picked up some of these. Um, she requested to get these for her. Picked up these like 40 centimeter sweets. And um, yeah, I hope she likes them. I, pick, I picked up quite a few flavors. Picked up these sweets as well. These are my favorite sweets. Actually, I might have one now. Mm -hmm -hmm. Yeah, I can see my battery is dying. So this is actually perfect that I did this all in one take. But yeah, let me just eat one sweet. Mmm, down. Bro. Sorry, I'm just really enjoying the sweet. It's really reminding me. I shouldn't be talking whilst I'm eating, but this reminds me of when I was like six years old. Like the sweet so good that is it for this part three japan haul i have so much stuff on my table but let me put you guys down but yeah thank you so much for watching this japan haul i hope you guys enjoyed each other parts like part one with the anime manga stuff and then part two with the daito haul and then part three for all this lovely skincare and makeup stuff but yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video let me know down below if you have any recommendations for anything that i picked up or you think i would like in the future that I will pick up later when I go to Japan again but yeah I'm so excited to use a lot of these products but yeah that is all from me I'm so glad everything went out smoothly even though my camera and memory card basically rewrit everything from what I filmed earlier but I'm so glad I managed to film all this in one day because I was a bit nervous and I like I said I haven't had lunch yet I haven't had any food so I really need to figure out myself what I need to do with food. I can't even use a car because my mum just went to the gym. So she used the car. So I need to figure out what I can eat. Maybe I'll make some ramen in that. But anyway, 
thank you guys so so much for watching i hope you guys have a lovely day a lovely week and um don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and that if you're new here i hope you guys are enjoying this channel and subscribe but yeah that is all from me and i'll see you guys next week hopefully it's monk haul but if not next week another monday as i mentioned before with my uploads i will be continuing uploading on monday but i'll stop with the premieres but i'll upload a monday hopefully every monday if not every other monday if not once in a blue moon monday so yeah i hope to see you guys very soon again and yeah thank you so much for watching bye